everybody. It's Christine at KNC Glitters. We are going to do a little tutorial today on how to make mini cup keychains with epoxy and glitter. So I'm going to start with the basics. We have a plain little tumbler and I'm going to sand it. Sand it away from everything. Epoxy likes to adhere, so we're going to clean this with. Oh, I'll squirt it everywhere. I'm going to clean this off. So what I have found while making these for the first time today is uh, you can do them with a clear base and they will come out fine, but you can see through them, which I don't have a problem with but I'm going to actually paint this white because I have another method I'm gonna try. Um, and that's actually putting it on a turner. So I'm just gonna use acrylic paint and everything I do is gonna be on top of um, a silicone mat. Mine is a little dirty. It's got its usage. Um, that's also on our website at kncglitters.com. So I'm just going to take stir sticks this is these are also silicone stir sticks are perfect it will wipe them off with a baby wipe reuse them so right here I am just speeding up the process I am painting the tumbler white with acrylic paint just making sure that I don't miss any spots and it's completely white and covered So, I'm going to let that dry, and I will be right back. Alright, and we are back. So, I let the paint dry, and I'm going to do one that I've actually, we're going to do, let's try Mermaid Wishes. We're going to do a Chunky. So this is what it looks like with a clear background. So I've already mixed up a little bit of epoxy and it's actually quite hard. So um, I am just going to, you do not need much epoxy. I just use leftovers from cups that I have spinning back in the back. So we're going to we're not going to hand um, epoxy over the handle. We're going to just do like you would e epoxy method. So kind of just. 
to melt. And we're also not going to do the bottom. And the best part about having the silicone mat down at the bottom is that you can just put it down whenever you need to. And no matter how much you get stuck down there, it won't come off. It will come off, I mean. All right, so I've got enough epoxy on here. So, we are going to use Mermaid Wishes, and I'm gonna open the big part. Do the other side. You did not need to drop that much, but it's the same thing, and there you have it. Just pat it down. Yep, I don't need any more. So this is just Mermaid Wishes on a white base. And this is Vintage Rose. You can use whatever color you'd like. Paint, acrylic paint underneath to change the color of Mermaid Wishes. I've done a couple with Mermaid Wishes. I just have not tried black. Black is when I want to try. But, so, you just let these dry. And then you're going to put epoxy on the outside just as you were if you were making a rail tumbler. Now what I did want to try and we're going to try right now is putting one on the turner. I don't even know what or where that came from. Both of them. Alright. I have some epoxy on the Save my glitter. If you have any questions, just let me know. Drop them in the comments. Alright, so now that I've got glitter everywhere, we are going to move you to this side. painted another one just so I could show you and we do have these alcohol inks on the website I'm not sure if they're in stock at the moment um, but I'm going to use watermelon pool and botanical I do know for a fact I do have that one I already had one spinning and this was one that I did not have a base to. I thought it was still pretty cool. So we're just going to turn that upside down and let that hang for a second. And this turner, it actually has a base to it. So I'm not quite sure how anybody else is set up and I think this is a rotisserie chicken turner or something like that. So, I just took it off. This is grip, um, that you, drawer grip, that you can buy from the dollar store. Probably should cut it off, but we're going to just go with it. I'm going to stick my tumbler on, my mini tumbler. I'm going to use a little bit more epoxy than I would, uh, um, than I would on the normal. 
ones. So I'm just going to kind of split it on. That's what it's going to do. These are cute for little gifts. Especially if you make tumblers and you don't know what to give somebody else with the tumbler, a matching keychain would be perfect. Or if you're just starting out on tumblers, this is a great way to practice, actually. <laughs> In a very cheap way. We sell them on our website. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to use um, botanical, watermelon, and pool. And how this works is I'm just going to put a little bit more actually because I want it to spin around and move when I put the heat to it and you literally still don't even need that much I mixed up um, five of each and yes I, I mixed it like crazy. I did not care about bubbles at the time. So we're going to do the same thing that we do with the tumbler. If you've never done this before, we're just going to drop the inks on and let's see if I can do it from the other angle. Now we're just going to drop them on. careful because if you put a lot it will overpower it. I'm trying not to, although that is hard because it's so little. And I'm just going to put one more red spot. Alright, I think that is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with my, hey everybody, I'm going to hit it with my heat gun. I mean with my blow dryer. <laughs> Not, not that hard. Literally, just a little actually going to do is also add more epoxy and I know that leaves open like these little dots but we can fix that with more paint so the whole point of this is I want it to move small that it overpowers so I'm just gonna, like the drops are not little drops they just it's big drops but I have a feeling that this is gonna turn out so cute can't see it Move back over here so we have glitter ones and we've done alcohol inks on a turner and I will share a video at the end on what this will look like when it's done turning all right you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later when these are done drying you would just put another layer of epoxy on like you would a normal tumbler you can find all of this at www.kncglitters.com